garment printer can be used to print anything from t-shirts, shorts, handbags, cotton usually works the best. The only thing that we don't recommend is printing on anything that is a black fabric. To turn on the garment printer, the power button is on the upper right. machine is now initializing In the bottom tray we're going to turn the power on we need to select the preheat button and we'll keep everything the temperature on high and the time medium or regular what it's doing right now is going to heat up to about 170 degrees and we're going to be using the iron to iron the shirt and then we're going to unlock it we're going to print the shirt after the shirts done printing we're going to put the cartridge back in the little oven and turn it to the right side which is fix and that'll fix the ink onto the garment we're ready to put in a garment in this case we're going to put in a gray t-shirt to load the t-shirt we're going to pull out the cartridge and we're going to set it down on the desk. There's two buttons on the side that you can pinch and open up the garment printer. Very simple to follow the directions that are right on front. One, we press the button. Step two says steps three to six are on the inside of the cartridge. Open it up. For our print, we're going to do a landscape design. You can see that there's two R's on the platform. And those two R's will give you the position of the shirt. So if I wanted a landscape design, I essentially need to put the t-shirt upside down in the cartridge. So I would lie it like that. And typically it's using the neckline to line up with the middle and we found out that using the armpits and folding the t-shirt over to the armpit section and putting it right up to the middle line of the cartridge works very well we need to concentrate on the r that's on the right side so that's where the neckline is going to be with the orientation of the shirt the same way the r is so we're going to use that middle line and make sure our shirt is in the middle. The armpits, we're going to line up with the middle line that's on the cartridge. And we'll check one more time to make sure the center the neckline. Now after it's positioned, everything is going to get folded excess-wise underneath the cartridge. And then we're going to lightly close the cartridge. We want to make sure, we inspect to make sure there's no garment hang it out now we're going to put it in the bottom tray and iron the shirt our bottom unit has reached its temperature that we set for high what we're going to do is hit the stop unlock button after it reaches about 80 degrees the safety feature kicks in and locks the door. Even though the handle is at its unlocked position, you still have to hold, press and hold, the stop unlock button. You'll hear the little click, and you can open the tray. Our garment is going to slide straight in, 
close the door, turn the handle to the left, which will iron the shirt for 30 seconds. Once the unit is done ironing, turn the handle to the unlock position, hold the stop unlock button until you hear the click, pull the tray out, close the door. So now we're going to slide the tray nice and easy into the top unit until the white line on the tray reaches the front side of the Roland. Once you're logged into the computer, you're going to have to go to Google Chrome and open up your Canvas courses. Go down to the Fab Lab 2020 LPC session and find our Roland BT12 garment printer. You'll be downloading the JPEG. And once the JPEG is downloading, open the JPEG and you need to save it to the computer. The easiest thing to do is hit your right mouse button and save as, and we're gonna save it right to the desktop. Save. We can close it out now. Now it's, you can see that it's saved on our desktop. The next thing we want to do is open up our Roland design software. We're not going to use the easy designer, we're going to use the advanced designer. Now the way we set our shirt up was in the form of landscape. It is in fact a t-shirt. Uh, you could do something thicker as a sweatshirt. The garment types then automatically change once you get into different types of garments. So we're just gonna stick with a regular t-shirt, normal, uh, not, not very thin size. You can do small, you can do very small, like a pocket size. So you could actually adjust it towards the, uh, the pocket. We're gonna stick with the A4 and landscape and okay. You're gonna be importing an image. You could do a lot of your own artwork on this, drawing, text, so on and so forth. We're going to import the image from our computer and select the image. And we're going to find on our desktop here, and if your desktop isn't active, you can click on the desktop here. And it is our Roland BT12 print and open. And it says that the image has been imported and you can just hit OK. And you can see how it's going to. We're going to use these corner pieces. And I'm just going to scoot it over just a little bit and crank it up a little bit more. Grab the middle, click hold with your left mouse button and it looks like we might lose a little bit of the E. And go just a little bit smaller. Get right up to the edge to maximize our size. And we can go to preview before we hit print. And that's how it's going to look. If you want it up a little bit, now we did line up the middle line with the armpits. So we could hit edit and you can see it would probably be right at the armpits with that, uh, that middle line. So I'm going to hit print. And are you sure you want to print this design? Print. Now it will say that you need to hit the big cyan start button. And if you wanted to do multiple, you could hit print one more. Our print is now ready to go. So we just need to hit the start button.
once the screen says ready, you can take your garment out. Now we do need to fix the ink using the bottom tray. So the same process, making sure that it's in its unlocked position, however, hitting the stop unlock button until we hear that click. Open. Slide your finished garment in. Close it, and this time we're gonna push it to the right for fixing the ink, and it's gonna take about three minutes. Turn the handle to the unlock, hit stop unlock, open, and pull your garment out. And now the ink is fixed to the garment. Congratulations on your first garment print. If this is your first garment print, enjoy. You are now trained on the BT12 garment printer.